and welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we have another private game, team game this time, three versus three. Over on the right side, got Coochie in the middle, teamed up with Tapiro to his right and Cyber to his left. And they will be up against X Factor Live. And to the right of him, me, Excalibur, World Walsh Election YouTube. And to his left will be Sash Corinne. So quite a big battle gonna happen here. And it's quite an interesting map as well. Lots of little lakes here and there, big pond in the middle. Loads of iron, loads of trees, loads of resources. And annoying fish in the middle of in the in the corner of the map where no one will ever ever know it was there unless you put some boats down there. Now let's speed things up. Do we have do we have fish over here? Oh these guys are blessed. So this is uh Coochie and X Factor spot. They are blessed. Blessed with fish right next to them. Sash Karin and Cyber not so great. Sash going over here. He's found he's found the fish. He's found the fish. So that's not too bad. Had to travel a little bit. And in my spot and Tapiro's spot, we do have some cows here, which I didn't spot. Should have spotted them cows. And I'm I think I I saw Tapiro moving some workers and I thought, oh where's he going? Where's he going? Oh he's found he's found some fish. So I immediately sent some workers myself to try and find the fish. I knew I saw cows somewhere. I was looking for these cows. I just missed them and I'm uh, just wasting a lot of time trying to find food here. Not great for me. Could you not yet going for that fish? Just saving it up maybe? I don't know. Could be helping his teammates. Really going heavy on the, on the, on the uh the old berries here 19 on the berries insane amount insane right so he's got some warriors out Tapiro's gonna get some warriors out getting that leg speed getting the upgrades over here I know I'm gonna get attacked hard so I'm getting prepared here I'm trying to block with the houses getting a nice base here got okay amount of trees for now that I can survive with and we do have some shenanigans going on here we do have some bulwark attacks by cyber is he following this up with anything he's getting a temple quick temple I don't see any huts for cyber so that is kind of a bit cheesy there I'd say sure what the plan for that was we're not seeing any warriors coming out there for sash I think he might have gone worker heavy Tapiro's out and his head he's looking for blood he's heading for my base I've got some units there ready he's trying to defend this up oh no I've got Coochie and Tapiro on me let's get you there's the Puro, they're both trying to attack me at the same time. I've got one little choke point here. Do have some decent amount of bulwarks. Managed to shave them off, so that's good. I'm still getting the fish and cows here, which is good. I'm getting some extra food. But my opponent, my immediate opponent here, is has reached Bronze Age, so that's delayed me a little bit. And I'm still only heading over there now. X Factor has got to Bronze Age. Sash is very behind by the looks of it. Cyber has reached Bronze Age, has got his population upgrade, and Kuchi is also got his population upgrade at Bronze Age. So looks like Red Team here is kind of behind. It was a nice attack and slowed me down, I guess. I tried to do a little attack here, but it was a nice choke point base here. So 
and that didn't do anything against my opponent. How strange he built compared to the way I built. He went across here, used this. And I just went across here. Very strange. Oh! Okay. Slash so trying to push in hard here. Big attack now coming into my base. I, I hope I got enough bulwarks here. Gonna have to run around a bit. To save as much as I can. I do have some slingers for extra defense here for extra DPS. Got some horses here from X Factor. So that's nice to keep them busy. Still trying to run around here. Not I probably lost a lot of workers there. 35, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh, not watching his units there. Finally watches him. Gonna fight the army. I don't think it was a good idea to fight the army with the horses. It'd be better off going for workers, but Kuchi has also got some horses that he's going to be able to chase down the horses of X Factor there. Meanwhile, down here, they are fighting this off. Somehow, three three towers has done pretty well against the bulwarks, and he's now taking down the pits. And looks like he might be heading over to Iron Age. He's upgrading his pits there for cyber cyber looking to go and do some damage now some stingers coming down from me to try and do damage big army now coming could you building some towers for vision Close the gap, except for this tiny little gap. But horses can't get through, so that's okay. X Factor comes in with his horses to save the day. So that's nice. This fight's still happening, but nice defense. Walls are up for Cyber there, protecting that bottom side. Who's winning here? Who's winning here? Asia horses versus European horses. Guess European wins. Huge army coming here from now from me to try and help with the horses. Macemen are out. They're going to take down some houses. Look at these. Look at these little tiny walls in between the in between the uh, towers there. The units can't get through, but I don't think that's going to help Sash there. He needs to start thinking of the next phase because he's going to get behind. Right, that's that dealt with and waiting now for more backup from X Factor, waiting for his horses to come. Oh we got some swords coming now. And looks like he's gonna go for longbows. He's gone for west, he's at medieval. So that's nice. I think he might be the first one to medieval by the looks of it. Yes. Kuchi is nearly there. There we go. East Asia. Loads of walls going up now. Huge walls going up. Protection across this whole area there. Oh, 
these guys are fighting it off. These guys, these guys are gonna be on their own for a while. Main, the main action is over here. Not getting much done with them slingers. Just trying to find some workers to just get rid of those slingers now. Some swords there. Not sure why he's not pushing in now while they're busy with my slingers. gonna get too much done here there's too many towers slingers finally go down they get squashed but they wasted their time to give him time for X Factor to pu push in but he's decided to go south he's gonna surprise cyber by the looks of it leaving me on my own leaving me on my own there's a horse is coming in now that's a lot of horses should be able to defend this. Got enough towers. Endless amount of archers. Losing some workers there because they were being transferred, unfortunately. Okay, so he lost enough horses there for him to say, yep, I can't go that way. So he's going to try and move now over to X Factor's base. I'm going to try and cut him off. Meanwhile, X Factor has finally reached down at the bottom here is going to start taking down everything with those swords so that should be nice and juicy for our side there should be probably a gap here x-factor needs to move his workers asap but he is busy trying to i'm waypointing it i'm telling him i'm telling him yo 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 move your stuff move your stuff finally he moves it he did lose a lot of stuff there's a lot of horses here as well. Nice hit there, you got a lot of damage. What is this? Lanch snips. They're gonna come and finish off even more. Okay, they've given up, they've given up, they've moved back. All is well, all is well. Look at that lance now. Point 0.3 damage the heavy spearman does. Point 0.3. Wow. And the lance steps does 12 damage. Jeez, almighty. Oh, juicy. Right. We'll do a little push here, try and keep these guys busy. Looks like mainly Tapiro doing the archers and Coochie just sticking to them horses. Which I like, which I like. Horses are a good shout. Gone west here. Because I didn't really have any option for boats, so I decided to go for west. Just to get that little bit of better eco going. And Snips are still doing pretty well. More coming in. Cyber is in big trouble. If he can get rid of his units as well, that'll keep leave him weak. Big army forming now over here. The Ronins are out. Archer's gonna be pushing forward soon from Tapiro. I need to max out. I'm nearly maxed out. That was that was this is bad. I was able to upgrade all of those, or did I just reach? Maybe I just reached. I had a lot of wood, so I'll be able to catch up pretty well. More land snips coming through, and some archers. Really, them two are really pushing on cyber. Not too sure. Here we go. The Ronins are coming. Kucha's gone to help at the bottom there. Meanwhile, me and Tapira are dancing our archers. Let's see who wins this battle. Yes, the superior micro wins. Annihilated. Annihilated. 
Cyber's got a lot of fish. Why has nobody built anything to, to destroy these boats? This battle's still happening here. Cyber having to build ballistas to kill land schnips. God. Right, big push now, big push. I know I've, I've completely wiped his army there. I know I'm, I've got the advantage. So I'm going to push and push and push and keep making him run out of... Well, he's actually got quite a lot backed up here. He's, he, can, he can build more. But what is his eco like? I want, and I want him to run out of food as well, but he's got enough food. He does have fish. Houses are back up for Cyber. Cyber's defending well. We've got some. Ooh! Onagas on the way from X Factor, so I had no idea what was going on down there. I'm just focusing on this. So basically, they all left me. But it is one on one here. So that's okay. But I did have a slow start. And. I'm, I'm in a good position. So far so good. My teammates are doing well there. The wall's going up for c Cyber here. Which is unfortunate for my teammates here. But they do have Onigas. And you know he's late medieval. So he's going to be able to get... Oh, we got Austria-Hungary as well from X Factor. There. Oh, they, they... That's not good. That's not good. We got Ronan's in Sash's base. Looks like Sash is gonna lose a lot of stuff here, and he still. Why is he still got bronze houses? Has he? Has he only just got to medieval? He must have got hurt. He must have got hurt. But my ballistas coming here is gonna start, gonna start taking down some stuff. He split up his archers to try and take down my ballistas. Oh, nice move there by Tapiro. Can't do much about that. Cannot do much about that. Nicely done. Shooting his own land snips there. Not great, but there is a lot. Not sure what the plan here is. He's going to take down the army. Managed to squish him there. Getting some of my towers, getting more ballistas. What I'm gonna make, I need to take down the elephant huts. We got some mounted samurais coming from Kuchi. Oh, so quickly before I could. Oh! Too late, too late, too late. A lot of workers went down. And I was halfway to late medieval, which was unfortunate. I had to cancel. And they're still alive, so I had to pull back. I had to pull back. I couldn't carry my attack on those elephant huts. Matter summarized as well at the bottom. The land steps are trying to deal with them. They're very getting close. The cannons are getting close to that temple. But it's not enough. Where is Sash backup? Where's the backup from Sash? To me, it just looks like mainly X Factor doing the damage here. We do now see some heavy archers coming from Sash. He must have got really hurt at some point. But look how much fish he has. Why is no one building junks or something to kill all these boats? Got the naval up, might as well. I got a huge army. I lost some workers, so I managed to get even bigger army. So I'm going to try and push in. I've got melting houses coming up now over there. Putting the pressure on here. One elephant is out. See, that's going to hurt me. They take so much. Only 5.9 damage. No, 1.5 damage from the archers. Right? And because of that, his archers were able to do a lot of damage to me. 
Oh, they are good. They are good. We are industrial. Let's put on that music. Nice army here from Cyber and Coochie. Think they're going to be able to push this back, no problem, but there's more cannons coming. No, I wasn't. When I said I was halfway to late medieval, I wasn't because I had the Bronze Age shooting ranges. That was late. Ah, uh, you have so much range, and then move and shoot. It's awesome. Some heavy knights from X Factor should be able to do quite a bit of damage or take some hits from the archers while the archers back here are doing damage. There's a lot of cannons now. Now the big push is coming. Kuchi probably going to have to head down to help I think he knows he's oh another huge hit huge hit basically Coochie's dancing up and down with his horses doing damage wherever he can possibly do damage and this is not going too well there is a lot of cannons but we need bigger army here from uh, from Sash. He should be easily matching the, the army of Cyber here with the amount of cannon backup you have. You should be able to push this quicker. And then help me! I think they're going to be able to take down Cyber fairly quickly. X Factor's got some machine gun trawlers. Finally, they're going to take down the boats, but I think it's a bit late. I mean, all the fish has gone in the bloody lake. And the Samurais are coming. They're going to do a lot of damage. Do we have any uh, factories there? No factories just yet. We have industrial there for Coochie, abstract. Hiding the workers there. These guys didn't get to hide, they're gonna die. Big army now from me. And a big push to keep them busy. Huge army. But these guys are heading closer to my base. Oh boy, oh boy. Did manage to kill quite a lot of mounted horses there. Mounted samurais. But I'm in trouble here. Does it look like bottom side managed to push? They're getting pushed back. Be impossible to kill this now. There's just too many. Got squashed here. Lost the army at home. We do have some of these helping out, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Oglins are here from Cyber for some reason. Oh, I hear something. I hear gas. I'm not too sure where from. I've never seen it being used, so I'm not too sure what was going on here. I heard it. Oh, here, these guys. I 
Throwing gas everywhere. So I managed to defend that off. And finally we see some progress here and Cyber is down. Cyber is down. Where are the little guys? Where are the little guys? There they are. I see it. I see it. Zero damage. Special damage. Alive. Five. Five damage while they're alive? What? I don't know. Oh, the cavalry is here. All the cannons will go down. Oh boy. Should have kept them alive. I think should have kept them alive. That's gonna cost. Oh, he's gonna take down the tower. He's gonna take down the tower. I'm trying to defend it. I'm trying to prepare it. Another big hit from Tapiro onto my base. I'm trying to build ballistas to try and take down these elephants, but oh god, he's got machine gun elephants now. Big trouble. And Sash being behind as well in tech is only just going to late medieval now. Two of them at medieval, two medieval versus one industrial and two medievals. Hmm, and it looks like I am only early medieval. I could I couldn't manage to get to late. Did not manage. Should have tried to get there to get those cannons. But didn't have the eco. A funny name. Funny noises they do. Oh, they shoot as well. Oh no, they're the soldiers. I can't see him, there they are. Kazaba is here. Okay, that's the end of World War Selection. And unfortunately, that's gonna leave, gonna be able to leave this all open. That's a, this is a huge, scary army. Machine gun, elephants, and cannons. X Factor's in trouble. I don't think he has anything there. Every, he's, he's, he put everything down here. Harbors are in. They are pretty strong. They only do two damage. These guys are doing 40 damage to the horses. He's going to have to spend a lot of horses, cavalry men trying to deal with this. Meanwhile, Sash, what's Sash doing? Is he, is he pushing? His armies are home. I'm not sure how he's going to be able to go up there to defend this. It's impossible. We have a lot of soldiers. We do have the Kasaba. Oh, the, the cannons are slowing down the Kasabas. And they're going to take them out. He needs more. He needs more. If the archers can come in and take down the cannons, that will be huge. Because once the cannons are gone, then the Kasabas should be able to take down the elephants. Do 16 damage. I'm not sure how much. I don't even know if they're shooting. They don't. They don't. They're not shooting. They can't shoot. The, they can't shoot it. Only the cannons can shoot it. So as long as the, the, the 
cannons can be taken out, it'd be all right. And why is there so many machine gun trawlers? Why? I don't understand. Okay, so take it down. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, the cavalry is here. Go hear him. Can they take down? Really? That's JJ. Oh. Only oh, Sash left. Oh, Sash to quit. He didn't want to die like that. That means he did just get to industrial. Because his farm's upgraded. What an epic game. And that lasted one hour. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I definitely could have done better there. To try and push. To Pira, but... Ah, I got I got hurt by the horses. My food, my wood line got completely annihilated twice. And doubled at the front at the beginning. But these guys done the well here at the bottom, took down Cyber, but the horses. The horses won them the game in the end. So very important horses are in team games. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time. Goodbye.